back on the Kit Lab, it's your boy AK, and we are on the grass pitches today because I'm going to tell you about why you need to have soft ground boots instead of firm ground boots this autumn, winter, possibly spring as well. Make sure you subscribe, like this video of course, massive thumbs up on all that, and then let's get to it. Boom! So why SG boots? FG boots are designed for short firm grass fields which are lightly damp. I've chosen the Hyperim 3 Strike Night Edition in our agility drill. The jumps and sprinting weren't too bad. As for parting to finish, definitely felt like striking lower was my best bet. That said, the Chevron studs are shorter, so when changing direction, you need to think twice about harsh cuts and turns in case, well, that happens. Overall, not bad, but now it's time to bring on the substitute. SG boots are specifically designed for use on wet and muddy pitches requiring maximum traction. Time to bring out a personal favourite from the locker, my custom Hyphen Phantom 2 Lagoon Edition. Straight away, acceleration, deceleration and turns are so much sharper with increased grip. And with that confidence, it means top bins are on the menu. As for the more aggressive turns, no drama, full lockdown both inside and outside the shoe, which means beware defenders, you have a hard time keeping up. There you have it guys, that is why you should wear soft ground this season, especially now in winter, autumn, whatever you want to call it. Um, right, so main things first and foremost are these. So your studs, now you've got 11 millimeters which are normally preset on your boot, but you also have 13 millimeters and 15 millimeters as well. Now, the reason being is because depending on how soft the pitch is, you want longer studs. So obviously if it's super soft, dead conditions, you want to wear the 15s, if it's medium, the 13s, if it's relatively light but only a little bit of drizzle on the top, go for your 11s. But the difference between the firm ground and soft ground is phenomenal. I'm talking about maximum traction when you have your soft ground boots in. If you're an attacking player and trying to lose the defender, whether it's with quick trickery or off the ball movement, you need to have the right equipment on your feet. Otherwise, you're going to be slipping and sliding all over the place and you look like an absolute mug. But anyway, let me know if you thought this video was useful. Also, Put in the comments what other hacks and tips you want to know. Bang that there. Thumbs up, subscribe, all that brilliant stuff you guys do. And I'll catch you on the next episode. I'm AK signing out. Peace.